I just asked ChatGPT to solve this simple equation and it got it wrong. Here's why you shouldn't trust it with your maths homework and why we should be very careful about the output it generates in general. So I was just talking to a student about online calculators and we thought why not try this equation in ChatGPT. So we type it in, can you solve this cubic equation with working? And it says, sure, I can help you solve it. Let's expand the left hand side using the binomial theorem. Great idea, exactly how we should go about it. Expand the right hand side with a distributive property. Yes, I agree. So now we've got this equation. We uh, do a little bit of rearrangement and we get to a final answer. I was really impressed. I was like, this is actually looks like a good solution with good working. But wait, there's something wrong with this. The answer's wrong. Let's put the same equation into Wolfram Alpha, great online calculator. And you can see Wolfram Alpha does similar working and comes to a different solution. Now, if you know Wolfram Alpha, it's a proper calculator. It can't get this wrong. Wolfram Alpha's answer is correct here. ChatGPT's is wrong. So let's go back to ChatGPT's working and analyze it a bit more thoroughly. It's got the multiplication out right in the first instance, but look at this step where it multiplies out the right-hand side of this equation. If you do this multiplication properly, you should get a minus 10x in the expression instead of a minus 14x. It's made the sort of mistake I wouldn't have expected it to have made here. This is exactly the sort of thing that computers should be able to do really well. In a sense, this is the easy part for a computer doing something like multiplying out a routine task that is totally algorithmic. So how does ChatGPT get this wrong? Well, it's not a calculator, it's AI. It works very differently. ChatGPT isn't taking advantage of algebraic computation here. It's learning from other things that it's read and other things that it's seen. Maybe it's been trained on some other material that's got an algebraic mistake in it. Perhaps it's approximating the solution from other things it's seen and it's just missed the mark here. It's hard to say exactly, but clearly something's not working properly here. Now, why is this potentially so dangerous? Well, let's say I ask it now, instead, to ask how to treat a cut on my friend's leg. It's given some advice here that looks pretty sound. All of these things, as someone who knows not very much about medicine, look very sensible advice. But suddenly I think back to the algebra. To a non-mathematician, that looks like a great solution. It almost fooled me. I wasn't necessarily going to check the algebra. It looked like something I could trust. So does this medical advice. But what if that also has a fundamental flaw, something that means that this whole advice is invalid? With the way this works at present, it's impossible to tell. So don't take the outputs of ChatGPT and apply them blindly. Remember, it's an assistant, and that's how you should think about it. It's a very good assistant, a very smart one. It scours the internet for you, it summarizes, it brings information together, and gives you an opinion. It might be an improvement on most humans doing this task. It doesn't replace the advice of an expert. So sure, use it to help you do some translation, to do some research, to give you ideas, to generate prompts for things. It's great at that sort of stuff. But at least for now, treat it with a healthy dose of skepticism.